Hello everyone and welcome back to the devlog for Real Communism, my city builder game. Let's take a look at this past week's progress. I started off this week by implementing the primary mechanic for the player to earn gold in the game, by taking advantage of the cheap, slave-like labor in the citizenry to profit from exporting those cheaply made goods to more developed and more prosperous nations. The player can transfer goods to the warehouse and by clicking on the item in the warehouse inventory, they can choose to export a number of those goods at a specified price. As of now, the cost is set arbitrarily, but each item's price will be calibrated once I get to balancing the game. Now that a player can make gold, they need a way to spend it as well, and that's where policies come in. Policies will be permanent upgrades to the society that can be purchased for gold. I made the first policy this week called Rainwater Collection, and it will make it so that water resources are not used on days when it's raining. First, I had to implement the use of water into the Feed Citizens function because they had not yet been consuming water. Once that was done, a simple check on the policy and the weather was put in, and voila, it works. After the citizens, I worked on the farms who also, up until now, were not consuming water. Now they consume one water per day while crops are growing. And if the player has the rainwater collection policy unlocked, the farms will not use water resources on rainy days. I also tidied up the nav filters for both the trucks and the citizens so that they don't randomly drive or walk through a building that isn't their endpoint. I'm glad to be off pathfinding at this point, at least for now. Obviously there's some polishing that needs to happen, but I'm going to postpone polishing until once all of the mechanics and the content have been put into the game. The game is really starting to come together though. Just so you know, my current goal is that I have a demo out by at some point in the summer, maybe early fall, and then fully releasing the game by the end of the year. If you're looking forward to that, please wishlist the game on Steam if you haven't already. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if you want to keep up with the development progress of this game, please subscribe to this channel. If you prefer smaller, more frequent updates, you can follow me on X slash Twitter at HaydenMarlow underscore, or on TikTok at Marlow Development. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.